a tiny speck of a Nebraska town, Steel City has some stories to tell. Covered wagons, made tracks, headed west. While Bill Hickok gunned down his first man not far from here. Shot him in the back, they say. These days, more often than not, things roll on by without a second thought. And in the weather-worn facades and storefronts, Steel City shows its age. We used to have two grocery stores, a hardware store, a livery barn, a lumber yard, a creamery, stockyards, basically dwindled away. Bill Sheely runs the post office, is the town's maintenance man, and also the mayor. He won with 21 votes. Not bad, really. Folks are few here. 50, give or take one or two. The sign out front says 84 people live here. But that's an old sign. No one's ever struck oil in Steel City, but an awful lot of it sure passes through. Four pipelines already converge on the outskirts. And a fifth, the proposed Keystone XL, would bring Canadian crude south en route to U.S. refineries. The ones since that have came through and built have been good business. Like as far as calling in ahead of time, saying I have 40 lunches, can you have them ready at you know 1210? It's been a good business having them come through. The salty dog's the only place in town to get a bite. It's really the only place in town. Margot D'Angelo lovingly serves up the chow. If I blow this one, I did it on purpose. Oh, oh. <laughs> Yay, a scratch. I won. And she's all for the pipeline. It does boost the economy for everyone around here. Um, me, my employees, that might mean difference in an employee getting a new car. Might mean a new air conditioning system for the tavern or I might be able to have a vacation. <laughs> but there is considerable opposition on the other side. Some maintain any pipeline spill would devastate Nebraska's environment. Others say Americans need to wean themselves from fossil fuels. For most Nebraskans, the environment is a very secondary issue. And there's the question of money. We have 1.8 million people in Nebraska. We have 50 people in Steel City. So you do the math. Dave Domina is a lawyer fighting Keystone on behalf of farmers who want a better compensation package. A good neighbor would not say to you, you take this deal, or you're out. You're suggesting a little bit of bullying has gone on. It has. The ones that's fighting is, I think it's more political than anything. Are you ever worried like in a couple of years, Steel City may be no more? Oh yeah, I am. It is the future that fuels the uncertainty in this part of the country. There's plenty of past to go around. Blacksmithing was a way of life. We can get that white hot. So as local men breathe new life into this old stone building, keeping their craft alive, they look ahead. I welcome the future. I have to. If you don't, the country's going to go backwards. But don't forget your past. For Meet the Press, Kevin Tibbles.